Epic Games has announced they are reinstating plans for Tooth Hunter authentication for Fortnite as a lot of accounts have been getting hacked as they have looked over on the Reddit and forums and other communities for Fortnite. They have noticed a common trend in people getting their accounts stolen. Michael here with another topic video. So yeah, basically Fortnite has been a huge deal and with anything that gets to be a huge deal, people are trying to hack into different accounts for various reasons and I'll talk about those a little bit later. But Epic has actually been called out on not having Tooth Hunter authentication for quite a while now as in a lot of people are like, where is Tooth Hunter authentication? Because if you know anything about security, Tooth Hunter... Tooth Factor authentication, geez, that's a hard thing to say over and over again, is actually quite important for accounts that you want to hold on to. And Fortnite is a special case because it's also tied into your Epic account. So people that want their Epic account secure probably want their Fortnite account secured as well. Because if you don't know what that means, it also ties into their game engine. So if you use Unreal Engine 4, such as myself, then you'll want to have that account secure because otherwise they can get into your files, anything that you're storing on the cloud, anything you have up in the marketplace, yada, yada. So it's a little bit more important than I think most games because losing a game account isn't too bad. But there is also the fact that people are actually using these accounts to buy V credits or whatever their microtransaction credits are, which I don't understand why, but again, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So why are they actually reinstating their plans and why were they called out on it before? Well, they were called out on it before because they've already had the technology before. I mean, it's Epic Games. They've already used Tooth Hunter authentication in the past. However, Fortnite, when it came out and was huge, they actually didn't have it for Fortnite specifically. So if you go and try to log into Fortnite, you just use your basic credentials and you're fine. And so that's a little bit bothersome because people want to have their account secure. They don't want to just lose them because some hacker found their password on a random site. Now, to be clear, they say they are hacked accounts. They're not really hacked accounts as much as they are just stolen accounts. I, I hate the idea that they always use hacked because hacked implies that it was like hacked from the server. Don't worry, there's no like hack to get into the server, or not less, at least not that we know of so far. If there was, I think it would be a little bit more widespread than it is because people would definitely jump on that really really quickly but it seems to be just you know people are losing their accounts and i think it might have to do with like a website that might be having like stats or something along those lines you know if you go to like random news sites or random strategy stuff and you just find like a random website that has some suggestions or something you click on it there might be malware on that website or the fact that you know fortnite is so large they have malware that could be on any pretty much any site and they would just be like oh hey we got your login credentials for this and then they sell it slash trade it slash post it whatever and then your account still Stolen. And most people are not going to know where to find this sort of information either. And so it's not like you're going to be like going on Twitter and then all of a sudden notice your login credentials and be like, oh man, I should change my password. No, it's just going to be your account's gone. And you're like, what the hell? Why do I have fraudulent charges? And what's going on with my account? Why did I lose my last seven games? I'm pretty sure I kicked butt those games. But regardless, you know, I mean, some people might end up using it as an excuse for their losing streak. I don't necessarily know. Could be, could be, could be not. But yeah, Tooth Thunder Authentication is actually pretty important and a lot of people have been asking for it. And I, like I said, I assume that people are getting their accounts hicke, hacked or whatever. I hate that term, but they're getting accounts stolen because basically Fortnite's popular. And so people are finding out and trying different passwords and things because for people that don't know, for security purposes, you should always have a unique password for everything that you go into. Because let's say you've never logged into Fortnite before, but you have an Epic account. Somebody could still use your login info because it uses your Epic you know, it login if you actually have an Epic account and you've used that password on something else, like that login and password, because I think they also allow you to use the email and stuff. And so let's say you have just your email and then you also have a password tied to it. If a hacker slash, you know, thief has found it on some other sort of resource site, let's say, you know, you logged into something else with it. Let's say it was just like a news or an email or something along those lines and you use that password. There is a chance that a hacker could end up using that information to log into your Epic account and start using it. Now, in this case, it doesn't necessarily matter if somebody's using your info because all they're going to do is use it to probably use a hacking account. And this is what most people end up doing with these stolen accounts. They either steal items from it and put it on other accounts and then they try to sell the accounts or they use it to boost up accounts that they end up selling for um, like an MMOs, for example. They'll use those items and give it to an account so that they can end up boosting it up and then they'll try to sell the account or they'll give it to accounts that kind of fall for the whole, oh, pay 
us money and we'll level up your character. So they'll give it to those, level up the character, and then they steal the account and do the same with that account. And so, you know, it's just one of those big giant cycle things to where they do a lot of weird malicious in-game stuff, but normally it doesn't really spread too far out of that. But there's a lot of time and effort put into these games accounts and people have to buy the game to begin with, not with Fortnite, but with MMOs and stuff like that. That was a big deal, especially in World of Warcraft. However, with Fortnite, for some reason what they're doing is they're buying V-Bucks, I think is what they're called, the microtransaction in-game currency. They're buying large amounts of it, like thousands of dollars worth of it on ser several accounts that have payment details on them. And so if you've actually, you know, bought stuff with Epic's account and you have your payment details on it, they can end up using that info to just buy in-game currency or something. I... I don't understand why they're doing it. I mean, I guess they're actually like stealing and using the accounts. Maybe they're trying to sell boosted accounts and they're like, oh, hey, it has all the skins and stuff like that. I, I don't understand the logic behind that because that is something that is very rare that it happens. I mean, I guess it happened on some Nexon games, but it was still extremely rare that that would happen. But this is actually happening a lot and it has actually been a big thing on Reddit and several other communities. And I actually had my friend talking about it a little bit as well. He's like, people keep getting their accounts hacked. But of course, he's like, yeah, but it's popular. So people are just people are just idiots and like giving away their blogging credentials and stuff like that because that happens in literally every game but this is the first time i've ever seen one of these to where there's actually been a mass amount of accounts kind of going through and so epic has been announcing and you know giving back you know refunds to everyone who's been losing those accounts and stuff and you know where they can of course obviously you can't always justify that it was like oh hey this was malicious you have to have enough evidence and it has to be out of order and stuff you know because chargebacks are important and this is one of the reasons why epic wants to get this in now immediately they're like hey you know we're actually losing money on this because when you actually do a refund it costs you money it's not like you're like oh hey you know what okay you'll just have your five dollars back here you no when banks get involved and, and transactions get through even if it's for microtransactions there's going to be extra charges in there, so they'll be losing money on this. And so obviously they're going to be like, all right, not only are we losing money, but people have been pissed off about this for a while. And to kind of close that out, like, it's it's kind of insane that they've waited this long to actually have it because they've actually been having a lot of hacker problems on there as well. And they've actually been taking a very active role inside of that. And so it doesn't make sense to me why they also didn't do two fenter of communication because it also makes sure that these hackers don't have extra free accounts to use because while it is a free to play game and you can just log in whenever you want, there's also people that end up stealing, like I was saying, stealing accounts so they can end up hacking and getting away with it on several other accounts. And while that may be less popular with games like Fortnite, it's still a thing they're going to do because they don't want to use all their, you know, credentials and make it so they can end up getting found out. Because basically if, because Epic has been so serious about it, especially, they could be like, okay, well, you know, I've used this email address and this email address, so I don't want them finding my location or finding some other way out to ban me. Then they'll just use stolen accounts and throw them off the trail, that sort of thing. And so again, you know, it's, it's not necessarily something good. And so even if, you know, you don't have login or you don't have uh, payment details on your account you'll still want to end up looking into probably changing your password if you can epic hasn't said that they have any sort of breaches or anything there was a breach a very very long time ago however they confirmed that no passwords were leaked or anything or at least not um unencrypted passwords they could encrypt them if they had them i don't i don't remember exactly this was months ago and way before fortnite and i i doubt anybody that's losing their fortnite account is going to be people from all the way back then and so i don't think there's been a leak or anything however if you have been looking up details about fortnite and going onto random sites or even even trusted sites and even stuff like youtube every once in a while there will be a malicious ad and so just change your password if you're worried about it if you're very concerned about it and you should regularly change your passwords on a lot of accounts i know i don't always do because i have a different account or a different password for every single account but that's also another thing you know make sure every single password that you use is unique to that you can come up with some sort of system some sort of numbers or something along those lines Hackers are not usually, like, if somebody wants to get into your account and they really, really want to, then there's ways to do that. But most of the time, they're just looking for a free, easy account. And so they're mostly going to go through predetermined lists, predetermined common passwords, or very easy to hack into systems. And they're not going to necessarily go out of their way to end up getting your password specifically. So if you have, like, a basic system to make sure that, you know, at least every password is somewhat unique. 
you know, make it so it's like, oh, hey, maybe the just the last three characters or something like that are unique. That's going to be better than nothing. No, that's not perfect. It should be completely unique for every single one. But at the same time, it is very, very important. So, yeah, it, with the increase of hacks and stuff like that, you know, maybe there is an exploit somewhere along the lines in the login system that is being exploited. So, you know, do, do change your password for your Epic account and for your Fortnite stuff if you possibly can. And be careful of the sites you go to. Do use an ad blocker if you are going to... Um, untrusted sites and stuff. I know that people hate ad blockers because, well, it denies people money because monetization is how we freaking pay for everything. But at the same time, it's very important. I would rather have everybody be secure. And so do use an ad blocker like you'd pluck origin is an absolutely fantastic one. Don't use ad block plus because it allows in malicious ads these days. And so use something like you block origin and you should be fine. So yeah. And that's just because, you know, like I said, Fortnite is really, really popular. It's freaking huge. I know PUBG has been having a problem with this as well. And I just don't care about PUBG and they have a bunch of other problems that I think they need to fix before even worrying about it. But yeah, two-thirds of authentication should be put in a lot of games as a closing note. You know, I used to hate it in certain games, like let's say um, Nexon, for example, or EN Mass used to enforce it. And they had a terrible system to where you had to use it every single time you logged in. And so with EN Mass, I had to grab my phone every time I wanted to log into Terra to actually log into my account, which was super fucking frustrating. But at the same time, my Nexon account got stolen the day I actually removed it. And so I will say that it actually is important to have. And so, yeah. And next on my next on account, this has changed now. I've changed my next on account password like seven times now, but, um, originally they actually had a breach and I didn't worry about it. And then, um, long story short, I disabled two thunder authentication on it. I don't remember why. I think it was just cause I was annoyed with logging in. And then my, uh, calls it? It's like Dragon something. I already forgot it. Wow. I can't remember the name of it. We played it for hours on end, and then they killed it off because they removed the hardest difficulty from all the dungeons, and we just stopped playing. Um, Dragon Nest. Yeah, there we go. Dragon Nest. Yeah. Anyways, my Dragon Nest account got hacked into, and I lost some items, and that was about it. Um, but they got my account back eventually. But yeah, just be careful with your accounts. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this one. Game in the background has been Borderlands 2. Also, if you like my styles of content, you can also throw a dollar on Patreon or more if you want to end up supporting my content and the other types of stuff that I do. I also do weekly updates on there as well. Well, somewhat weekly. I just kind of update whenever I want. I've just started doing that again, and I'm using it sort of as a blog post. So if you're wondering what's going on in the channel, you can end up checking that out. And you can also end up joining our Discord, The Broken Chat Box, which is in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, and I'll see See you guys in the next video. I suppose I haven't died in the background. I am terrible with Borderlands when I haven't played it for like a year, but I think I'm a little overleveled. Am I overleveled? Yeah, I am overleveled. Anyways, bye!